I'm Jeremy, this is Guitar Hunter, and uh, a new guitar showed up, and uh, let's unbox this thing. This is the Lava! This is the Lava 4, and this thing was sent to me by the friends at Lava. There will be a link in the description down below if you want to check one of these out. That does support the channel, that's an affiliate link, but I'm Jeremy, this is Guitar Hunter, uh, let's open this thing up. There's a little pack up here. There's a truss rod wrench there, and a user's guide. I don't need that. The gig bag here, that's very cool. It's very like consumer electronics feeling. They want to be really kind of futuristic and cool. Bada bing, bada boom! I got the pink one, of course I did, because I, I love pink guitars. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavier than I would have thought. So my first reactions, it's such a strange thing. It's very futuristic, very different looking. And I've seen this kind of guitar before. I've wondered who it's for or like, what's the ratio of actual good guitar versus gimmick. And um, everything on this is, it's not parts I've seen before, which that's interesting. So here's their pick. And I'm, you're hearing this through a lot in audio LA120, uh, straight into, uh, through the Apollo, into GarageBand. <laughs> So for the first part of this, let's just dig in and say like, as a guitar, without an, ignoring the iPad that's on the side of this, like, is this a good playing, a good sounding guitar? Would it just be a guitar? Sounds good. It's wild. I can feel the entire top vibrating, um, which lots of acoustic guitar tops vibrate, but I feel this more than a normal guitar. I don't know, it's hard to tell if I'm in my head on this. So as you come into this, some of the features that you start getting in here, you have all of these different options for, you have looping, you have a tuner, you have lessons and improvs, you have the ability to record. There's also, you can turn on effects inside the guitar. So let's play around with some effects first, and then I'll show you some of the other features. Infinite universe. <laughs> Okay, so there's a lot of reverbs. So now we'll just go to a chorus. effects are cool. They're a bit novel. I like the reverb probably best of them. The biggest thing that gets me is that they're not ever louder than the guitar. They're not even the same volume as the guitar. It's like the blend is too low. You're hearing too much clean signal. You're not hearing your actual guitar. So that's where it's fun. It's novel. It's kind of clever. I could see it being a bit inspiring, but if you're buying this guitar for an acoustic guitar that can make effects in the room, 
probably keep looking. So let's keep looking, and I wanna look at the uh, the lessons component of this guitar. If you can jump in with a cohort of people that are learning a new uh, kind of guitar, a new kind of lesson, there are things that will teach you arpeggios and how to play in better time. And so there's a whole bunch of features that are packed in here that I want you to see, and we'll put some overlays on the screen that you can see what the interface of this guitar would look like and what those lessons would look like. Now there will be a video coming up where I just commit and I do a lesson for a week and I see if having your guitar be your teacher is the right way to go. For now, um, there's another thing I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you in particular, you can record yourself in this. Very straightforward, it just says tap to record. And so we're gonna, we'll tap it, we'll record some stuff. And uh, here we go. It sounds good, it's interesting. It doesn't sound like the guitar in the room, but it sounds like I know how this pickup would sound into an amp. The other thing with this is that this is connected to the internet, there's Wi-Fi on this, so you would have some data backup and data management that you would have to consider. It is very persistent if you're not up to date on software. It has reminded me every four and a half seconds that it needs to uh, be updated. But I wanna hear how does it sound through an actual uh, amplifier or a PA system. So I'm gonna plug it into a Bose. You're just gonna hear in the room how this guitar sounds. I'm sure that it is a good sounding under saddle transducer style pickup. And uh, so let's check this thing out. So while we're talking about plugging this thing in, there is a charging port back here. So it's USB-C and it does come with a cable. So you can plug it in if you have an Android or MacBooks, well, not the current MacBooks, old MacBooks had a USB-C charger, uh, but it's a helpful, it's a pretty uniform kind of power source. As soon as I plugged this in, I saw an icon that says, hey, we're plugged into an amp because there were warnings the whole time that said, this effect will cause feedback if used unplugged. And so I'm curious now, you're, you're hearing this guitar plugged straight in, no pedals, no nothing, just straight into a Bose L1 Pro 8. If you want a personal PA, this is the thing, but here it is. Man, that sounds very bright. Like it is, this is straight up like transducer pickup sounding of the late 90s, early 2000s. Not my thing. Doesn't sound like this guitar. It's lacking a lot of the low end and bass. Let's see if we can fix that. I don't see just a tone control in here. I have volume. Let's just go to reverb. And again, I need to tune. It doesn't mute. I'm sure that there's a setting that could be changed, but when I turn tuner on here, it does not mute the output. Edge of breakup, I think this is like an overdrive. Edge of breakup is a delay, that's confusing. Continuing the like super space agey component of this guitar, they sent me the ideal strap too. And this thing is like straight up Apple style. So let's open this thing up and see what it's actually like inside. Packaging on this is really pretty. It has like a strap lock system. Interesting, that's so cool. That's really cool. So as you spin, this mechanical piece on the side, it opens up there in the middle. There it is. If you've owned an acoustic guitar, you know that that's probably the biggest place that straps can really annoy you and drive you crazy. So having a strap lock, that's, that's a pro move. 
Okay, in summary, the experience of playing this guitar is really fun. The interface is then really clever, and it is a good home practice tool. That's where I think that this thing really shines. The tuner is not very accurate, and it keeps giving you these like, you did it, you're in tune, it makes, it, it makes this sound. And uh, it's interesting to me that it's not quite in tune, so this is probably like, it's a fun tool to get to know how to play guitar. I wonder if it's coming from like, it's just a couple ticks outside of like a traditional guitar builder. Um, but when you get to, would you be able to use this as a professional musician? It's fun and it's clever, but the interface doesn't work quickly. So the effects are a little confusing. Uh, they're icons, they're not a list. You couldn't set up, if this was just stepped up one tick or two ticks into a professional kind of guitar, uh, where you would see like, you think about like the Line 6 products, like the Helix or the HX Stomp, where you can set up an order of, of effects. Um, there's also no tone control. I wish there's a faster way to, to change the tone. The pickup is very, very bright and kind of fizzy. So all in, very cool, very fun to play a little more tricky to use in a live situation, amazing for lessons. Uh, that's my first reactions. It is a cool guitar. I'm excited to own it. I would recommend buying it, but I wouldn't buy it to be a professional play out all the time musician. Uh, I have children and they see all these guitars coming and going. This is the first one that they were like, Papa, can I have that guitar? When you're done with it, I want to keep it. It is so cool and pretty. And are there games on the iPad on it? If they're trying to attract a new audience, I think Lava is winning. This is definitely kind of the wave of the future. This kind of guitar is going to become a more and more normal part of our experience. And uh, don't be a boomer and just say that it's a silly thing that you should disregard. I think it's really interesting and really cool. So thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter, and this has been the Lava ME4.